Shady Grove and Sawmill. You start in your root position, which is your first finger, on the second string, in the second fret position, your root position, for your opening chord. I'm just going to play the melody to begin with, and then we'll introduce the bum ditty thereafter, and then we'll go through how you do it. So I go something like... So we're going third string open twice, then first finger on the second fret of the third string, and then open, and then the last note is the second finger on the third fret of the fourth string, and again. With the bum ditty, it goes. And so, when you find yourself in this position, you should be playing this chord, which for guitarists is a bit like the G chord, but that is your this is your second chord, it's your second finger on the fourth string at the 3rd fret, the 1st finger on the 3rd string at the 2nd fret, and then, and this is slightly optional, because the 4th string and the 1st string are the same note, you can play the 1st string with the 3rd finger on the 3rd fret. Without, it sounds like this. A bit weird, but acceptable. So, root position with your first finger. So that's the first phrase. Second phrase, back in the root position again, that's the uh, second finger on the third fret of the third string, and again, third string open, second finger on the third fret, then everything off, then your first finger back on the root position of the second string at the second fret. That's the second phrase. So put the two phrases together. Phrases one and two. Phrase three, you keep your finger on the root position, the second string, second fret, but you put your second finger on the first string of the third fret, so that's take it off. Next phrase is with the root finger off as well. So let's do that for you. Second string open, third string, second fret, 
with the first finger and then fourth string third fret second finger Put those two phrases together phrase, root position, and that is third string open, first finger, second fret of the third string, and that's the fourth string of the third fret with the second finger. to the root position. So so if we put the second half of that together we've got if we put the whole lot together we should get something like this. There are variations to that. Variations are great. The more variations you have, the better your sound, and the more times you can go around with the tune, really, because you can do a different variation each time. Uh, anyway, I hope that helped. Uh, there are plenty of people that teach this tune, and I'll try and leave some links in my um, description for some far better tutors. <laughs> uh, but it's one of the simplest tunes to learn in sawmill that I'm aware of. And you can easily introduce hammer-ons to it to make it sound a bit more busy and to add variation of which we spake. <laughs>